it feels most of the time really uplifting and heartwarming and very fulfilling when you're seeing everything come to fruition and you know all the work that you're putting in you know that it's it's creating something lovely um, but yeah it is, it is a lot of hard work but it's better than being in an office <laughs> so much better I was born and raised in a uh, pool in Dorset. My uh, dad gave me a big uh, passion for <clears throat> growing my own food. He had a big allotment. And um, because of that, we've kind of always grown our own food. Um, and when Simon and I got together and we bought a house, we carried on, we had a kitchen garden, we carried on growing our own food. And when it was, Simon was in the army. So when he was uh, thinking about coming out of the army, reached his 22, 23 year point, um, we had an opportunity to completely change our lives. So we wanted to grow stuff. And originally we wanted to grow vegetables because that's all we knew. But um, I wanted a little cutting patch, a little cutting patch of flowers so that I could have flowers in the house. And um, I kind of got a bit obsessed with flowers. <laughs> Yeah, and then got really interested in floral design and, and now we sort of grow our own flowers for our own use and for weddings and we go to farmers markets and sell at farmers markets and uh, have a lovely time. <laughs> if you're not selling local then people can't shop local and shopping local is sustainable, more sustainable than uh, the alternative and selling direct to people is important because you build up that rapport, don't you? You build up that sort of, you know what your customer wants um, and they get to know you and they get to know what your business ethos is about. So um, during the growing season, we have a stall at Haverford West Farmers Market on a Friday. We've also have a stall at Newport Market on a Monday. And then uh, we do a few weddings each month, uh, which we really love. They're an awful lot of work, so we don't take on loads. <laughs> Just enough to hit my creativity fix. <laughs> and um, you know, bring in, they're, they're a little bit more lucrative than the, uh, the farmer's markets. But we love the farmer's markets because it's great to you know, network with other growers, other producers, um, have a bit of a social life <laughs> rather than just me and Simon <laughs> mucking around in a field. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's our, our main thing. So we do special occasion flowers as well, you know, for, you know, birthday bouquets, uh, that anniversary flowers, that sort of thing. But yeah, the bulk of it is the farmers markets and the weddings. We've noticed since getting the land to now, which is, uh, and working on it to now, which is only three years really of infrastructure improvement. And, but the biodiversity and the habitat increase is there for, has been there for us to see and we're only three years in. We haven't even got any ponds or anything yet, which is exciting. It makes me feel like I'm um, almost free of mainstream life uh, and that I can just dip in and out of that when I want or when we want. Um, it's nice to take direct responsibility for everything we need you know so that's it's a bit liberating actually yeah yeah favorite job i would say is the arranging of the flowers so i love prepping uh, and creating because it's so lovely when you you look in the at the market garden and, and we generally see just a load of work and weeds um, uh, it's beautiful because you've got loads of flowers growing but it's not until you like cut them and you put them all together and you can really see how they all come together as a, a piece of art almost um, or a color color scheme and I love the yeah 
sort of playing with colours and forms of the flowers when they're all cut. It's to have a resilient land-based enterprise that um, can support us, contribute to the local economy, um, and in time not break our backs. <laughs> because at the moment, and we know it's temporary, at the moment we're getting absolutely hammered. You know, there's not a day where we're not putting in a lot of hours. Uh, whether it's physical, mental or whatever, but we know that we're still in the planning procedure and we haven't got the infrastructure here. So I, when we're out the other side of that, um, it's a business that we're more than prepared to limit the size of when it's appropriate. It's not gonna get too big. We're not gonna turn into managers of a business. We're still going to be at the, on the shop floor front of house and and that's important isn't it yeah so that's what i think our vision is yeah